Hi everyone, so this is just a quick video on how to play Daisy by Laura Marling on guitar. So, uh, to start off with, the tuning of it is open D, so D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Um, the, you can have a capo anywhere on the studio version, I think there's a capo on the second fret, but uh, I'm just going to play it without a capo because it's easier for talking about numbers. Um, so let's just start off. So the beginning of it, you use the first three strings, so D, A, D strings for the little sort of down a scale type part. So it starts with the fourth fret on the third string, and you go 4, 2, O, oh, and then you go into the second string, 4, 2, O. Oh. So it goes. And then you go 4 on the bottom string, O, oh, 2. It's all together, that's. And after that you make, um, it's kind of like the E chord, except you move the first, um, second string fret. So the second fret on the second string onto the second fret on the first string. So it goes like that. So then in the intro it goes like... You pluck on the high D string. Then you move it up two frets. And then you do straight five threats, frets on the same strings. Then up to straight sevens. And then there's a slide on the low D string up to 12 from seven. So it's and then back to zero. So that's the intro altogether. So that's the intro. And then the verse is very similar. So it starts off with the same pattern as the intro. up to the same E shape, uh, starting with 9, 9, uh, 8, back down to the 7s, then straight 5s, and then you move the um, F sharp string where you've got a 5th fret, you move that onto the 4th fret, which makes the chord minor, I'm pretty sure, so it goes... So that's... Um, For the chorus, you move up to all twelves, and then you do the same E shape, shape um, 11, 11, 10, and then move it down two frets, down to the five, and then the minor five. So then you slide up to um, nine, nine, eight. <laughs> So then that's 998799875. And then you do another slide. And then so that's the verses in the chorus, and then there's a little sort of instrumental bit in between verses, which I I like, but um so it starts off with the same intro. And then you move up to the uh, bottom third and second string, so it's a Fifth, fourth and fifth string is what I should be saying. Um, so that goes eight and nine. So the fourth string is eight and the fifth string is nine. And then whatever the night, the fifth string, whatever fret you're playing on the fifth string, after plucking them, you also play the same fret on the sixth string. So it goes. So then it so it goes from eight nine to seven seven. So then you do the pluck on the string, which I'll start with. Them. Five, five, three, four, five, five, and then you do a slide up to twelve, and then you do another pluck in the twelve, and that's it. And then I think there's one part in it towards the end where she just does the same thing but strumming. So she does the same verse pattern, so it goes. And so that's that.
that's the only difference. So yeah, that's all the separate parts. If there's any bits that you don't understand or I didn't talk about very well, uh, feel free to ask. I'll try and explain it as much as possible, but um, there you go.